Hello Pisces, welcome to your reading. This is going to be an intuitive general love message for new love, someone who's brand new in your life or who will be coming in. I did post a past love reading, so make sure you check that out. But just remember that energy is fluid, the roles could be reversed, and only take what you feel resonates with you. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. Okay, so if you are coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. I'm just getting like very strong water energy already, Pisces. Maybe this nine of cups at the bottom. So you could be dealing with another water sign or you will be. Um, we'll see what comes out. Spirit, how does this new person in Pisces life feel about them? How does this new person in Pisces life feel about them? Okay, we got the Knight of Wands. We got the King of Cups. We got the Magician, Gemini, Virgo, Energy. Okay, someone here, Pisces, is... Tell me about that Knight of Wands. Tell me more. <laughs> someone here, Pisces, like, first of all, they want to have a lot of fun with you. They see you as very fun. They see you as someone who could be very spontaneous. Um, you like to try new things, you like to go new places, like someone likes this about you a lot. But what I'm also getting here, Pisces, is that if this is the type of person who has not been in a relationship in a long time or doesn't usually like commit to things, like I do love reading, so love can obviously be romantic, but this could also be like a new friend coming in. This person is like, they want to work on that here. Like this is someone who's like, I don't want to be just surface level connection anymore. I don't want to be someone who's not going to give it a shot and just kind of like get bored easily or something like that. Like I feel like this person sees you as very mature, someone who is very emotionally intelligent. And so they want to match your energy here. Like it's getting that strong water energy because I feel like there's already a lot of feelings here. Like I feel like there's someone here who's like, I can see myself putting in the work to have that happily ever after with Pisces or to have that amazing friendship with Pisces. Like this is someone who's like, maybe typically is like, you know, people suck or, you know, you can't trust people or whatever. They're typically like hot and cold or non-committal in some way, but I feel like they want to work on that here with you, Pisces. Like th this person almost feels like they've manifested you in some way here. They could follow the law of attraction or, um, They've just been like deep down hoping for like a stronger connection than, than just surface level, right? You can't trick the universe. So I feel like this person has a lot of love to give here, but it just hasn't been the right person or the right time here. They can, this person has a hard time trusting is what I'm getting. Really hard time trusting. So if their view was sort of like, you know, I'll be hot and cold or inconsistent or not get too deep because no one else gets too deep with me, um, there's something about you that changes that here. This person feels like they could have something much more vulnerable, much more fulfilling, much happier here with you, Pisces. Um, so you're bringing that out in this person. Like I said, I feel like deep down they always really wanted that, but there wasn't really an energy that made them want to bring that about, that side of them out. Right. So, for instance, this person's uh, like ex-partner could tell you, oh, they're not romantic or like they don't really try that hard or, you know, they're hard to get a hold of. With you, I feel like it would be a completely different story because they feel differently about you here. I mean, the Ten of Cups is and the King of Cups. I mean, if anything, this person feels like they could they could have stronger feelings for you than you do for them. Pisces is what I'm getting. So it could be another water sign there, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, could be a Gemini or Virgo. Um, let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. Their actions. 
Queen of Swords, interesting. Six of Wands. Page of Wands, Seven of Cups. Hmm. What is this person doing? What is that? What is that Queen of Swords? <laughs> Why? Why the Five of Wands? <laughs> the Knight of Cups. I don't know why here, Pisces, maybe you can give some insight in the comments here, but th this person is, this person is trying to come towards you here. Like I said, be romantic here, try to do like a nice gesture, let you know that they care about you here, but they're, they're, like, I, I feel like I'm hearing you say, why didn't you just say that? Or why didn't you just ask me? Or like, why wouldn't you just speak up? Like, I'm getting this energy, Pisces, where you're just like, well, why couldn't you just be straightforward about it? Like, I just don't understand. It's like this person's fighting themselves here on just saying what they want to say to you. They're kind of con like trying to come off like calm, cool, collected here. Like, say if this person plans a date with you, it's all they're thinking about, but they're trying to act like, oh, they have such a busy week. Like hopefully by the end of it, I'll still have the energy for our date kind of thing. Like, I don't know, this person's trying to give off the energy to you, the impression to you. Like, not that you're not important, but they just, how do I put that? It's like they, they feel like if they put you on this pedestal right away, it could go really wrong. Tell me about the seven of cups. What is that about? The wheel of fortune and the four of pentacles you know it's almost just like this person is waiting like they're withholding how they really feel here it's almost like they're trying to make you guess they're trying to make you guess where they're at trying to make you guess how like i do see them coming forward here we got the page of wands as well like a message is coming here a gesture is coming here but i feel like at the center of it all is like maybe this person's like image like they're like i don't want to come off like i'm too desperate or like what's that like uh what do the kids say these days simp simp i want to be too simple or simp i don't know they don't want to come off like they're too eager here right like there's definitely interest here tell me about the knight of cups oh oof. the lovers and the page of cups you see Gemini energy here like that when I say there's definitely interest there's definitely interest here Pisces there's no doubt about that this person just feels like so strong about you but there's something here where it's like they're fighting themselves it's like they have to say it perfectly or they, they have to say it in such a way that you don't think too poorly of them like they they don't want you to think you've got them wrapped around your finger even though you kind of do Pisces like you do, like I feel like this person is falling for you. I feel like this person likes you a lot. I feel like this person is waiting for the right time to just open up and tell you like, the, and if this person does have other options in the, in, on the sidelines here, I feel like they're, they're, they're fading away. Like they, they don't even give that the time, the energy, but it's almost like they want, if, especially if this is like a new date and you're both sort of like feeling each other out, trying to see how it's going. This person doesn't want to come off as too desperate. So they may ask you something like, oh, like, are you dating other people? And you'd be like, yeah, like I've been on a couple of days. You're like, oh yeah, like me too. I'm just trying to figure it out. But like in the back of their head, they're like, I don't even talk to those people anymore. I don't even want anything to do with them. I'm just waiting for the right time to tell Pisces. Like, I want you. Like, look at this, the lovers and the page of cups. Like this person is falling for you, Pisces. But it's like they're fighting themselves on it because they don't want to scare you off. They don't want to, they want to impress you, but they don't want to come on too strong at the same time so definitely a message coming in here um, Pisces now if you're sitting there saying there's absolutely no one in my life right now who is this random energy I have no idea who this is because I see comments like this all the time the universe has really interesting ways of bringing someone in right there's infinite possibilities but if you work from home and eat at home and don't go out uh, on the weekends you're making it really hard for the universe to bring you someone so say yes to that invite say you know, go to that event, go to that coffee shop, go take that walk, whatever it is, right? Depending on your life, your, you know, circumstances right now. But there's definitely a message coming in here. This person could be younger than you. They don't have to be. Um, 
And if you keep, and I should also say, if you keep maintaining that energy Pisces of this will never happen, I never meet anyone, all these readings are saying this, but it's never coming. There's a reason it's never coming. It's like the energy could be right there, but if you keep the mentality of it's never going to happen, no matter, no matter how close it is, you're going to miss it because it's like you're looking for the color blue and this is the color red. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like if you're, if you're not open to seeing how it could happen, then it, then even if it's right there, you won't, you'll miss it. Um, so yeah, definitely someone coming in with a very strong, uh, like desire for you here, Pisces, but they're trying to come off like, like this is no big deal because I'm not trying to scare you. So what is this person's intentions? Let's figure that out. What is this person's true intentions with Pisces? Like what do they really truly want with Pisces, please? We got the Wheel of Fortune. So again, like perfect timing here. The King of Swords now. Uh, the High Priestess, that's your energy, Pisces. The Two of Pentacles. The Eight of Swords. This person overthinks a lot. They're in their head. You would not know this, though. Like, look at this Eight of Swords. You would not know that this person um, is, like, thinking, overthinking, analyzing, overanalyzing everything in their head here. It's like this person is not trying to do that. What they're trying to do is be smart. What they're trying to do is use their intuition here. Tell me about the High Priestess. Their intuition is telling them something about you here. Um, justice, Libra energy, Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Be, be more patient give it time, right? If things are meant to be, they will work out. Like, I feel like this person's really trying to maintain the mentality of like, okay, if it's, if I'm meant to be with Pisces, if I'm meant to connect with Pisces, then I will stop trying to push it. Right. Anything else? We got the King of Pentacles. And the Six of Wands again. They're still trying to, I gotta be honest with you, they're trying to impress you here. I just get this energy like this person is um, trying to impress you with their work or their career or something they've accomplished or something that they do. Like, I feel like what they're trying to do is win you over first with their intelligence, with what they know. Like, I feel like this person wants, to, wants you to see them as very capable, right? Even if they are younger than you or even if they are less experienced than you or in some way or something like that. I feel like this person... But in a lot of ways, this person is a provider. Like, I feel like this person is someone who likes to take care. So I feel like they want to do that here with you, Pisces, but they overthink a lot. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Oh my gosh. Of course, the Lovers, the Seven of Cups, and the Four of Wands. What is this person overthinking? The connection that they have here with you, right? Whether or not to move this forward. Are they moving too fast? Are they moving too slow? Do you want the same things? Are you, you know, looking for the same things? Because they know what they feel. They feel very, very strongly about you. You got the lovers twice here now. Gemini energy. But they're, they're it's almost like they're confusing themselves. Like, is this really here? Is this really true here? Is this, like, too good to be true? Did I miss something? The four of wands is like, I want to take that next step with you. But this person overthinks it a lot. It's like their own mind is confusing themselves. Now, I don't, I don't get an energy, like I said, a, I don't get a strong energy of it being because of another person or other people. I think it's just this person's own mind playing tricks on them. Like, can I trust Pisces? Can I trust the situation? You know, um, am I willing to sort of open up in a different way than I, than I ever have before? Right. Or maybe the last time I opened up, it didn't work out so well. So they're like, I got to be patient. I got to take my time here, but I also don't want to miss out on this opportunity here. Um, I want to impress Pisces. Like there's a lot going on with this person. What's the potential outcome? What's this one? Nine of wands, guardedness here. The wounded warrior coming through there. The knight of wands again. The devil. Oh. Jeez. The Three of Swords. We have Capricorn energy there. The Two of Wands. The Nine of Swords. I have to be honest with you here, Pisces. This is really unfortunate. It feels like it, it starts off so strong here. And then I don't know if this is you or them or both of you. There's just so much fear and worry that it's not what it's that's that it's not what it is. Like, look at the devil here saying, like, there's there's too much risk here basically in opening up I see heartbreak here I see anxiety I see sleepless nights I see just kind of like wondering what could have been now obviously this is not 
the, the ideal scenario here, Pisces, especially if you are looking for new love or like a new friend, right? I just feel like what's getting in the way here is the shadow side. Let me just pull on that devil card. Tell me about that devil card. Look at it. It could even be fear of commitment here. It's like the exact thing that this person wants or maybe even that you want. It's scary at the same time. It's like, is this really true? Is this really happening here? You're getting 9-9. Nine, nine. There could be something in September. But there's just a lot of worry. Anxi this card of anxiety is what if. And you can fill in the blank of what if with anything. What if they don't like me as much? What if they cheat? What if they lie? What if they're not who they say they are? What if, you know, um, they have someone else? What if, like, what if, what if, what if, what if? I'm not picking that up, that there is someone else in, in, like, usually that energy comes through here. But what I am getting is a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety, a lot of shadow work here that needs to be done. So unfortunately here, Pisces, it feels like you meet this person. There's such a strong connection. They have you know, um, a desire here to impress you, to kind of just follow their intuition, but their fear or your fear or both of views of commitment here, it's like the exact thing you want is also the scariest thing. It's like, is, can I trust this person? Why the three of swords? Four of pentacles, because someone's holding back. Because someone feels like it's not safe to fully open up here. Maybe it's just like how this person looks or how they act or how they say things or where they come from or their friend group or something that makes you feel or makes them feel about you that like you would you would play them like the Knight of Wands coming out there, right? That this isn't serious for you or you don't feel like it's serious for them. I don't know. There's just like a, there's just fear here, right? And someone once asked me a really great question. If fear didn't hold you back, what would you do? Right? So... Again, I don't know if it's you or this person, Pisces, because we can sit here and say, you know, I want the love of my life to come in. I want this very strong connection. I want this lover's energy. And then when it when it arrives, it can be scary. It can feel like, well, is this is this it? Is this for real? Is this true? Is this who it is? I don't want another lesson again. You know, and it can stop you from fully opening up here. Or this person, like I said. Oh, I forgot to do this. How will Pisces know who this is? How will Pisces know who this person is? The Nine of Pentacles, someone who's very hardworking. Um, the Sun could be like a very like half bus full kind of energy person, like someone who could be born in the summertime, doesn't have to be. Um, maybe they enjoy the summer. I feel like they, they have like this energy about them. People are kind of drawn to them. Could be like someone who's been single for quite some time or just very, very independent, like almost like hyper independent here. Like it's hard for them to, to lean on other people. They might be the type of person who provides a lot for other people, but they have a hard time asking for help themselves. Any advice for Pisces? The Empress. You are what you attract, Pisces. And the Strength card. We have um, Taurus, Libra, and Leo energy here. You are what you attract here. Right, It could be spirit asking you to tap into that feminine energy, realizing your potential, your power, your value, your worth, right? Because we can say things like, I know my worth, I know my value, like I don't have to do any work on that. But then when someone comes along who actually like wants a deep connection, some of the shadow side can start popping up again that says things like, you don't deserve true love. You don't deserve someone trustworthy. You don't deserve a higher level of commitment, even though that's exactly the thing that you want, right? This is a pretty profound reading, Pisces, because it'd be great to just be like, oh, your perfect lover's coming in and they're coming in here. I feel like this is like a deep soul lesson for you and this person. You are what you attract and you cannot trick, trick the universe, right? So saying I'm worthy and feeling you are worthy are two different things saying I'm valuable and knowing deep in your consciousness and your soul that you are valuable are two different things, right? So start treating yourself how you want to be treated by this future person, right? Even if it means like buying yourself flowers or taking yourself out to dinner or whatever it is, however you want this person to treat you, start treating yourself like that. And if you're already doing that Pisces and you're like, this is not me, then I feel like this person's fear gets in the way for the, for the next little bit here. I don't feel like this is a never... But I feel like it is a not right now with this person, Pisces, or there just could be some like bumps here, bumps in the road. But remember your worth, no matter what. 
We got woman, dealings or relationship with a woman. Fan, romance, celebration, party. Kite, vacations. You're getting a lot of like, fit, like free like uh, energy here. Could be an air sign too. Could be an event or something. Pin, new job or career. And tower, solid foundation, success with effort. So I do feel like there is potential here, Pisces, but it's not like a fairy tale right away. Got to be honest with you. Grasshopper, situations in the balance that require careful handling. Mm -hmm. okay. Delicacy here. Look at star, guaranteed success, Pisces. I, psychic ability, trust your intuition. Tiger, doing something risky, taking a chance. Like all of these cards speaking to, it's delicate, but there's success here. You, it's careful handling, success with effort, right? Taking a chance, it's risky. And then we have fair woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. So take what resonates, Pisces. Look at that. Union. Serious relationship, marriage, partnership. It's like their own mind is standing in the way. I don't feel like it's someone else. I don't feel like it's because they don't like you, Pisces, or they're not falling for you. Quite the opposite, actually. Wallflower, limited potential, shy, withholding. Mm -hmm. Withholding, for sure. Messages for Pisces. Friendship, friends, acquaintances, networking. So again, it doesn't have to be a lover. It could be a friend. It could be that you meet this person through a friend or something like that. Cool. We got ask your angels and there's something better. So let me pull on that. Always ask your angels, Pisces. There's something better. Six of pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles and the Two of... So I just get this strong energy of whatever you invest in and put your time and effort into will come to fruition here. Right? Like if this is your person and you're like, there's no denying this, I just cannot explain it. Like the effort has to be put in. Right? The Six and Seven Pentacles are all about the effort being put in. But there is a strong union here. Anything else? Page of Swords. Ask a lot of questions. Get curious about why this person is the way that they are. If they're, if you know, here's the thing. They could act uh, distant, let's say, and you can interpret that as there must be someone else or they don't like me or they're just not interested. But their distance is actually them trying to figure out and process their own feelings. Am I justifying their behavior? No, but I feel like spirit's asking you to like remain curious here. Ask questions, be, be completely direct. Be like, why is it that you are distant from me? Be honest, right? Instead of us tiptoeing like around people's behaviors or what's going on, especially when there's strong feelings involved, just go for it, just ask. That's what I get. You got peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. So. Yes, you are, Pisces. Okay. We got wait. It's not yet time. Things are being woven. You see, Pisces? There's definitely an aspect of divine timing here, which I know is frustrating. But you got the Wheel of Fortune twice. Breath of the Cosmos. My will to thy will. Micromanaging the universe. I honestly feel like this is speaking to, like, surrendering. Needing to let go of control here. Being the empress. You don't chase. You attract. But let me read uh, what this says, because I feel like there's something here for you, Pisces, which says, so it says, place the card on the portal of your heart and whisper the following. You can just place your hand on your heart, Pisces. I am willing to stop relying on my own strength and personal agenda and instead surrender to the breath of life. Dear God, help me move from my will to thy will. Please lead me. Please show me the way. When we rely only on our own will, we're micromanaging the universe and resisting the natural flow of life. We're not trusting the mysterious breath of life. 
We're rejecting the great cosmic intelligence and relying instead on our personal strength. When we do this, we find ourselves attempting to bend things to our will. We spend our time forcing, pushing, and living from a space of trying to. Everyone around us can feel it, and the universe can too. You're being called to stop micromanaging the universe and trust the breath of life, to surrender to the greater will that God has for you, to move from my will to thy will. And then you got weight as well. So two strong messages here. Actually, let's read what the thing, what the message says for weight. How can you slow down, be more patient and wait? Okay, Pisces. So it's like I said, I get this strong energy of like, it's not never, it's just not now. I know how frustrating that can be, but allowing the universe to take control here. Uh, we got by the book, number 11, and then we got the fates, number 17. So let's read these. Evan says, now is the time for a real change in consciousness as you are incited to revolt. Challenge the structures that are limiting authentic progress. It is not enough to rebel in small ways. This is a call to revolution. Focus on what you really want to achieve, regardless of whether it feels so far outside the box that the established order may reject it. Genius, invention, and transformation are rarely comfortable and less likely to be accepted by the mainstream. It may be time for you to say no to the way of your group, take a stand, and make real changes. It could be that the structure of your inner world is alerting you to the need for a complete overhaul. This is a time for transformation, so let go of the fear of change. Your intuition will lead you through the darkness. There is no turning back now. Trust that light will dawn. Epiphanies will surely lead to miracles. Multiple cards here in messages, Pisces, of just letting go, surrendering, trusting yourself, trusting the universe. And then let's read uh, the fates, which says... It is difficult to understand why painful things happen to good people. Fate is a mystery after all. Yet what we do with our circumstances, the way in which we respond to life challenges, is how we rise up to greet our destiny. Now is the time. Now is one of those times to be aware of your powerlessness to change certain situations and surrender to acceptance. Hang in there. Life will only get better. Act as if you believe that, for the only thing you can control right now is your attitude. When you align with the fates, being mindful of what you can and cannot change, serenity will come to you. Very, very clear message here, Pisces. You got weight, um, my will to thy will, you know, surrendering, letting go, not letting um, your thoughts dictate and your fears dictate, right? Um, if you're interested more, Pisces, in learning about how your thoughts can create your reality, check out my link in the description box below. There's lots of courses there that can teach you about this. I'm like a huge believer in this, so check it out. Um, but yeah, it just doesn't feel like it's not now or never. It's just not now, Pisces, um, which I know can be frustrating. But let's see. So these could be initials of you, of this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, significant dates. Take it as it resonates, but if something here doesn't resonate, it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading. So we got Z or Z, I, P, B, I again, U, and the number one. Okay, Pisces, so I hope something here resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. I'm sending you so much love and so much light.